Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan and in this video I'm showing you how to play a morning sunbeam by Price in the ABRSM 2023-2024 Grade 1 Piano Book Piece B2. This is a lovely little piece. It feels like a little walk in the park or something like that. Very forward moving, has a nice little speed, kind of a swing like a little bit. And as we if we look at the beginning, we can see that it's in the key of G major, so we have one sharp, but the sharp disappears at the end of the second line, and we go into the key of C major, and then we modulate back into G major in bar 33. And then the first section comes back. The piece is in 3-4, as I said, so we count three beats, and the first one is going to get a little accent. and just as I mentioned, it's in three sections. We have section A, then section B, and then section A repeats with a little bit of a, a difference in the end just to finish off the piece. In the first section, the left hand is just playing a broken chord, a G major broken chord. So your hand can stay in this position all the way through. You don't even have to move it. It's very easy. You just have to make sure it's very even, uh, flexible wrist, very relaxed hand, and a curved hand shape. The right hand is playing the melody in the first four bars, but then as you could hear, they are kind of giving the melody to each other, so the two hands complete the melody together, and then the right hand takes it again. So the right hand starts, and now they give the melody to each other. So the right hand starts, left hand finishes. As you could hear, I lifted up my right hand because we've got two slurs. The slurs connect the first two notes. So one, two, three, one, two, lift. One, two, three, one, two, lift. One, two, three. So every time we have a new slur, we have to lift up the right hand before that slur to phrase the melody. And then the second line goes the same way. One, two, three, one, two, lift. One, two, three, one, two, lift. One, two, on a G major chord, 3-5 in the left hand, 1 on the G in the right hand. In the second half, the left hand takes on the melody, so it's going to have the slurs again, and obviously when the left hand takes on the melody, it means that the left hand has to be louder than the right hand, and in the first section, the right hand is louder than the left hand accompaniment. So starting 4 on the E, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2, That's the end of the second section. Now, put a lot of heaviness into this left hand, rich, deep sound, and very legato, very connected. The right hand is playing again the same little phrase, C and E, but the first note is a rest, so it comes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we have this diminished chord, which makes it sound very kind of strange. We have the B and F, on the third beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then it repeats the same in this in the second half of the second section. So left hand starts one, two, three, 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 so my left hand kept very connected, but the right hand was lifting up between those phrases. The third section is the repetition of the first section. it's a little bit different. We have a broken chord, a G major broken chord, G, B, D, D, and an octave down, and a low G. And then we jump up to a full G major chord, G, D, B, G, and very loud it says forte, and there's an accent on it as well, and it's six beats long. Now make sure the chord notes go down together, instead of, or, really like out of sync. So concentrate, and that's the end of the piece. 
Now in the end of the second section it says poco rit, so slowing down a little bit just before the C chord. Because that's when we modulate back into the G major section. Dynamics wise the piece is very simple, the beginning says medium loud, then the middle part a little bit quieter and then back to loud for the last section. It's a very simple piece, both the right and left hand, the rhythms are very simple apart from that middle section where it gets a little bit more complicated but not too much more complicated. The difficulty in the performance is to get this kind of swing-like wavy hand so it doesn't look very static like but let the hand move with the melody. And then it's going to sound a lot more musical and the performance is going to be much nicer. I hope this gave you a little bit of guidance on how to practice this beautiful little piece. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and as always, subscribe for more.